Good afternoon, everybody. Again, it's been a while. Just to do all you can really do is do what you can do. I'm just going to jump right into the journey here. And again, I'm going to ask my higher self to give the world a message. Just going to take a breath in my nose, out to mouth, relax my mind, body, and soul. I'm in a space and I, I spun and I just send it out an energy burst and there's crystals falling down everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful crystals of light. They're full of rainbows. And they fall down towards the earth and there's like a gust of wind, like a solar wind that comes and gathers them up and spins them around the world. And I'm just watching this happen. And it's spinning around the world faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and then hits the and hits the center of the north and south pole and just the whole world is covered with these beautiful crystals and they rain down to on everyone everything on earth and the question that my higher self is asking the world when was the last time you did something like this? When was the last time you gave something to the whole world, even if it was just a beautiful crystal of light to send to everything on earth? What do you think would happen if every person, every day, sent a beautiful amount of energy like this to the earth? How would that change things? How would that make everybody feel that every day they did a selfless act of giving love and light to everyone and everything on earth? And he shows me that the earth is a dark place. And even, it's a, even if it's a bright world, the energy in the earth is dark. And there is light, like you could almost say that it's, it's like the city lights of the world. There's a lot, at night there's more dark in the world than there is light. And that's kind of how he's picturing, is trying to explain this. That if every single person did what he just, what, what we just did, it would make the world, it's like all of a sudden it would be reversed. There would be a few dark spots where nobody lived. And, but every person starts to glow. And then everything starts to grow, including the planet, including the plants on the earth, even the water. The atoms themselves start to glow, so now the whole world starts to glow. Instead of looking at a beautiful, like, when, it, when the spirits look at the world, they see the world, but they also see the darkness in the world. And now this is overshadowed because now all of a sudden the darkness in the world doesn't want to be here because the light starts to get so bright. A simple task every day, if everybody did it, they could change everything. That's what he's saying. That's pretty simple, but it's really that easy. That's how simple it could be to change things. Because when you do selfless acts like this, it is sharing love to everyone. That changes people. It changes your, your, your energy. It changes your light. It changes yourself. It changes your soul. It changes how you even go through the day. Because I even forget to do this on a daily basis. And I should, because it's so easy to do. Within a few seconds, you could share the most amazing light to the world. But we choose not to. 
or we would forget, we get wrapped up in our everyday lives. But if we made it a routine, then would just then it would be a routine and would remember to do it every day. It wouldn't even be a question of whether or not we should or should not do it. That's how easy it is. Hmm. These walking, um, these walking down, uh, like uh, we're walking down a road together, and he's talking to me, and he's telling, he's talking about how how easy it is to get frustrated in the world, and how easy it is to just say, you know, like just get really annoyed and start going into negative thinking. It's like when Pete, when you when you spend a lot of time doing something and all people can do is cut it up. It's like, but you find that everybody starts doing this in some form or another. It could be simply simply complaining about the weather, complaining about your job, complaining about your partner, complaining about the your the driving of other people. And it's like it's so easy to get caught up in that. But that's the problem because everybody's complaining. The energy goes around the world and now the energy of the world is just a bunch of people bitching all the time. So if you, you spend more time complaining, it's harder to get out of it because the energy is rotating around the earth in these waves of, of just a negativity. So we need to change what we do and say more frequently and it will break down these waves and replace them with beautiful energy but if so if you see these waves of energy around the world you should disrupt them by sending love into them and that will disrupt the waves very easily it's amazing how easy it is to disrupt a negative wave but it's very difficult to disrupt a wave of love. Hmm. Doesn't matter how dark it is, if you turn a light on, it's going to be light. But it's really hard to make the light become darkness. unless you block the light. But you just can't turn a light on. You can't like turn darkness on, but you can turn light on in the darkness. It's kind of, that's basically what he's saying. It's like if you're negative all the time, you can turn a light on very easily. And we know it can be hard, taking word for it, to change your habits and the way you're doing things. But he's saying it's easier to do that than if you're really, really super happy. It's very difficult to shine light. But again, if you take things personally, you can change and shift very quickly. And you can print, but that's you turning the light out. But if you're shining the light, it's very hard for somebody to de shine it. You have to choose to, to shut it off. Hmm. I was sitting on a bench and he's making something. It's like a, it's a toy. Like I remember he used to do when I was in uh, East, East Indies um, on one of the islands and a man was doing this for uh, my foster kids at the time when it was a foster parent and he was creating these shapes out of, out of the, out of the foliage of the trees. And this is what he's doing. And he throws them and they become living things. And it's quite beautiful. And they give off amazing energy. It's like, it, it's, so he's saying you can actually take these, like make a bird, 
and throw a bird into somebody that's walking past you. And it's just a beautiful energy of love. Like the bird is pure love. So when you throw the bird, it just hits the person. And it's like, it gives them a shock of love. Like little things like this go a long way. Like little tiny actions have huge impacts because if that person now is, is happy, then they'll share that happiness and it spreads all around you. It's like we do, it's like he says when you actually go and help people do the unexpected things, it actually creates the same effect. But he says sometimes people are so shut down that you could throw a million of these at them and they're just going to hit a wall because there's so much walls. So how do you get through the walls? It's like he's showing me that there's, there's so many people in the world have walls around them, so thick that they're literally like a moving wall. So how do you get through to them? It's like this sprinkle of energy actually does go in this. It becomes like the mortar of these stones. It's like you'd have you build the wall so they get replaced. Like these things will go into the mortar and weaken the mortar so the walls will eventually just crumble. It takes time though. But it's like that's kind of what happens. It's like even the people with the walls built up, these walls can come crumbling down just by acts of kindness and love and sharing energy and love to the world. Even reaches the most darkest, twistest places on earth. And there's a there's a man that walks up that basically walks right over to me and goes to slap me across the face and I just kind of dodge and I realize I just allow him to pass through me and he just whips around, he stumbles and falls onto the ground. And it's like, that's what it's like though. There's people that will walk up to you and slap you across the face just because they feel like they're entitled to do so. But you allow that energy to pass through you, so he just stumbles and falls, and everybody laughs at him instead of him them laughing at you. And laughter can be beautiful or it can be re hurtful, depending on how it's used. But laughter is generally good. But if you laugh at somebody's misfortune, then that laughter turns into darkness in that individual. So it backfires on, 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 like in a sense of you're using laughter for the wrong reasons. So be mindful of that. It's like, I see this happen a lot. Somebody, somebody has something happens to somebody that's really humiliating and, and really hurtful and people just laugh and think it's funny. But in the meantime, this person is devastated and it, they crack. There's a part of themselves that crack after a while and it's so hard to heal. But people forget that we're all connected. So we're just hurting ourselves by hurting this individual. But that individual needs to learn not to let the laughter stick to them instead of allowing it to pass through. Pick yourself up, dust yourself on and move on. And then there's nothing to laugh at because the person was able to walk away. It's almost like if the person gets up and, and just says, yeah, not a big deal and walks away, people don't seem to hold on to laughter as long. They don't hold on to the energy as long. But when a person is hurt and, and like, you know, reacts in a negative way and cries or runs away, it, the laughter is, is somehow better. So we, we find it funny when people hurt themselves.
or get hurt or are in a bad situation. This whole video is based on people's misfortunes and people laugh at it. I even find that it's more painful to watch, but these people find it extremely funny. But it happens all over the world. So why are we taping people's misfortunes and making laughter out of it? How is it funny? Like if it's laughter, if the person gets up and laughs at their own, that's a different type of laughter. But when a laughter is basically laughing at a person and making fun of that individual, then we're hurting everyone and, and everything. It's because we're all connected. So I think we need to, the message here is what he's saying is that the subtle things can make huge differences in our lives. And how we look at life and how we judge other people and how we mistreat other people. It's like, but there's so many individuals that are so entitled that they feel like they are right and everybody else is wrong and I don't care what you think, I'm going to make your life miserable if you don't, if, if you don't agree with me. Instead of just allowing diversity. People don't want diversity. They want everybody to think just like them. If they don't, they're going to make your life a living hell. But is that really the right thing to do? And because that creates a situation where there's no creativity anymore. So you snifle people's creativity to be different, unique. And when we start doing that, the world starts to become very boring and plain and is full of negativity. And how do we break that cycle? You know, it's so hard when things are ingrained into us to be a certain way because we are, human race loves routines. And if a routine is complaining, how do you break that routine? It's easy to get caught up in the complaining of things because the world is so difficult. Our lives are so difficult. Hmm. He, ha he actually has a candle and he lights it. And he puts a line straight down the candle. And that's like, he just does this. And then he, then he starts putting it smaller lines and smaller lines and smaller lines and smaller lines and smaller lines. He has all these tiny little lines all the way down the candle. Then he wants you to put all the negative thoughts, all the negative things into those lines. And then burn the candle and watch the candle go. And you can do this before you go to sleep at night and just allow all those negative and release all those negative thoughts and all those negative thinking. And candles are amazing for that. But obviously make sure that it's in a safe place so you're not going to set the house on fire. Don't put it right beside your, your, your bed because you'll knock it with your arms, for instance. Keep it in a safe place and allow it to burn. And you could do the same thing by putting positive thoughts into it and lighting the candle and let the positive thoughts go into the world instead of the, of the other way around being released. These and transformed and with the light, you can actually create love and light to go in, out to the world by using the same process. He asks everyone to do that, to, to try that and to visualize all the things you want to let go of and all, all the negative aspects of your life to put into the candle and then relight another candle with all the positive aspects that you want to put into the world and into yourself. Hmm. That's all he's going to share today. And it was a very short message, but it's just all about the little things that make a difference. 
It's just making a difference. I think that's what it's all about. You just have to make the effort. Thank you very much, everyone. And if you wish to do a journey with me, you can go to my website at almondrossawakening.com. And I have a couple other websites for Northern Lights. It's Joseph Bradley Aurora's with an S.com and also hiddenaurorasspirits.com. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a wonderful evening. <laughs>